Alright, hi folks. Today I'm going to be going through my lipstick collection with you guys and trying each of them on and talking a little bit about them and deciding whether or not I actually want to keep it. So first off, I'm taking off my little chapstick friend. Using my mirror. So I'm starting off with the Norris Orgasm lipstick. It's a nice peachy color. It's got a little bit of a gold reflection in it. And I think it was super comfy. I think I'm just gonna keep it even though I don't actually wear a ton of lip gloss. I'm not really sure when I got it or why I have it. But I do like it even though my hair does get stuck in it. So this is a Tarte lip oil from their Sugar Rush collection in Cherry Slush. I got it last summer. I think I've worn it twice. I, I don't know how that happened or why I bought it, but it is pretty comfortable to wear. Not super drying, of course, it's an oil. Um, just kind of average, I guess. I don't know, it smells really strongly. So this is a gold lip gloss that I got in a little kit from Sephora a million years ago. Obviously I still don't really wear that much lip gloss, but it's so gold and so pretty. I love it and it smells like watermelon. I just don't wear it a lot because, you know, once again, I'm not really that much of a lip gloss kind of person, but that's, that's on me, not on Sephora. lip gloss from the brand Buxom. Um, it's in the shade White Russian. I got it as part of a set. I think they were intended to be like a limp, a lip plumping set, but I don't really, I don't know, I don't really use it for that, but it does feel like slightly minty, which is probably how the plumping works. Um, just kind of a light, neutrally pink. Cute, but not overwhelming. Again, I don't really wear lip gloss and now you guys get to watch me put it on. This is some sort of chubby stick lip crayon hydrating thing from Neutrogena. I do not have any idea when I got it. I've worn it twice. I've worn it twice. It's crazy. Um. I'm not seeing a lot of color payoff, and so I guess it's like a balm instead of an actual, like, how ColourPop has those chubby sticks or whatever. I don't know. It, it's not my jam. Apparently, I thought it would be a good idea to show you what I'm taking my lipstick off with in between each turn. It's an All May eye makeup remover because I was trying to use stuff up that I already had open so it wouldn't dry out too fast. So this is a Maybelline lip liner that I just hmm, did not have a good time with. It's fine, it's functional, but actually recording myself putting it on is horrible. So I'm just gonna do a little swatch on my hand. You can see it's a nice neutral nude pinky friend. Uh, I, sometimes I will wear just that and then a lip gloss over top of it when I wear lip gloss. So this is the cream lipstick from that Buxom set. Uh, matched with that lip gloss white Russian. This is in the shade Sydney, and it's also pretty minty. So 
this is going to be a Burberry lipstick from a little holiday set from about 2015. I got it as a Christmas gift. It's very cute. The shade is Nude Rose. So this is an Urban Decay cream lipstick in Back Talk, which is a pink rose, dusty rose color that I honestly think looks super sexy. I got it because of a friend of mine and I was like, wow, I love your lipstick. She was like, yeah, it's this. And I'm like, oh my God. And I accidentally got like one shade off of the one she actually had, but it looks really good on me. So win-win. So this is a Kat Von D cream lipstick in the shade Lovecraft. Again, a dusty pink color. I wish I had more variety to show y'all, but apparently I only buy one shade of lipstick and they all seem different when I buy them, but don't look too, too different in the tube. So that's that on Impulse Buy. So this is a Too Faced Melted Lipstick in Chihuahua. It was one of the earlier lipsticks I got, um, brownish pinkish instead of dusty pinkish. Wow. Variety. Aren't we excited? Um, so I find the applicator kind of really interesting. It's very strange to me. A little sponge that stuff just oozes out of. I don't know. There's a whole lot happening. Beauty Cream Lipstick in Glacé, and once more, we're back at it with the Pinky Nudes. Welcome to my town, I guess. slightly deeper pink, more of a uh, natural, nope, more of a berry shade. I have so many nude lipsticks. Ah. So this is a lipstick from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. I got it in an Ipsy bag a couple years ago. I was very surprised by how dry the texture was because it had been a while. Why does it feel so dry? Am I losing my mind? The shade is Incognito and I actually end up liking the way it looks on my lips better than I expected. So that's pretty cool. So this is another creamier lipstick from Bite Beauty. It's in the shade Chai, which is a lot more of a 90s style brown than some of the rosy pinks that I've been displaying here in my collection. So it's a little, a little break, if you will. Also, it's a ColourPop liquid lipstick in the shade Calypso, and I really haven't worn it that much since I got it, but somehow the name and label is all rubbed off anyways. Okay, so this is a NYX Liquid Suede lipstick in Tea and Cookies, which I got because I liked. And then I wore it at home and I hated it. And now I'm kind of neutral about the whole thing. It's quite pink, so I'm like, oh, does this wash me out? And you know, that sort of thing. But also, I am so pale, it might be very hard to wash me out. I don't know. I just have it and I don't really wear it that much. But also, it's quarantine, baby. None of us are really wearing makeup that much. So 
this is a Smashbox liquid lip in Babe Alert, and it is OMG, surprise, surprise, a rosy, dusty pink. Thank you. Good night. Lolita. I think it was almost everyone's first Kat Von D lipstick. I'm generalizing. Go with it. And, um, I mean, it's a pinky brown. What else even lives in the wardrobe for my lips anymore? Pink and brown. That's it. lipstick and it's in the shade gingerbread girl <laughs> it's so cute it's too cute it smells like an approximation of gingerbread it doesn't really smell like real gingerbread because you know it's made of chemicals and not ginger but it smells pretty dang good for being super fake like that just my opinion of course but that's why we're here to hear my opinion wahoo We've made it through the nudes. Do I have a dimple? How long have I had a dimple for? Get, get out of here. These came as a duo. They're both called Mother. One is liquid, one is cream. They are a nice bright pink. We're finally out of my nude lipstick area. And they will look the same even though one is cream and one is liquid. cherries in the snows and I bought it because I thought from the tube that it looked very red but now it looks hot pink and um, and I had meant to do an Agent Carter Peggy Carter kind of cosplay with it but that never really happened so maybe this will be me saying hey accountability let's do that thing Also in an Ipsy bag, Tristestique. Uh, it's very bright pink. I got one in Mumbai, this shade, and then one in English Rose. Um, I didn't see a lot of color payoff, so I swatched it on my hand. And I don't, I don't know. I don't really wear it. it Seems more like a chapstick than anything else. So I don't know when I bought this. But for some reason, I bought a Kylie lip kit because it was at Ulta and it was purple. I was like very excited that it was purple, so I bought it. But I don't like it that much. I think that the lip liner is way too hard. Like, it takes a lot of pressure or heat to get it to really transfer to your lip smoothly. And the liquid part smells overwhelmingly a fake manufactured vanilla. That is my opinion. I'm standing by it. But wow, it stinks. And the color payoff, like the transfer, the length of time it stayed on my lips was not as great as I would have expected. So this is a blue lipstick that was gifted to me by a dear friend and she thought that it was purple. Like, because you didn't, you can't open things when you're at the store in Walmart. Um, but she thought it was purple. I don't know why, because the name of it is literally sapphires, or like sapphires. 
Sapphire Envy or something. But like it's nice enough if I had ever wanted a blue lipstick. So that's nice. It was very kind of her to think of me. I don't really have occasion to wear blue lipstick though. <laughs> lipstick it's purple I bought it because it was purple it matches my hair I am so excited I forgot it matched my hair until this video and I it, I've put it on my dresser to be worn more often now yay that I own. This one is Mastermind. It is purple. I bought it because it is purple. It comes out looking really dark though, like darker than purple. I don't know. I think it's fun to wear for a certain event. Look, a half mustache. Uh -huh. Second ColourPop Lippy Sticks. This is the color Dukes. It is a nice dark maroony reddish, really also still kind of looks black color. I don't know how my two ends of the spectrum are light pink neutral, and I will eat you like a little vampire snack. Five left. <laughs> So this is my only Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. It is in the shade Sad Girl. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the slight amount of sparkle that is within the nice dark red color, but it does sparkle and I do love that about it. This is the shade Dancing though, and I think it's very cute. It's like a nice little red lip, not quite as bright as the one, there was one in the set called 1941, I think, and I just didn't care for it that much. Back at it again with that same little Burberry holiday set, but this time the shade is Oxblood. It is very deep, but not as deep as some of the other things we've seen because, you know, almost black is pretty hard to beat. This is another Kat Von D lipstick. This shade is K-Dub. Um, it actually came out a lot paler. Uh, than I expected it to, and I was very confused and startled by that, but it's the purple and I got it because it was purple, or it came in a set of purples, one or the two. So this is a Kat Von D in the shade LUV. And again, I bought it because it was purple and I was going through a purple phase before I dyed my hair purple. And now we're in quarantine and I haven't re-dyed my hair purple for like four weeks and I feel sad about it. It's a Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Wolf. It is part of a set with the shade Steel, I believe. And the funny part to me about this little thing, because it just came in the mail the other day, is that I actually bought it three years ago 
around New Year's and then I realized that I didn't like the shades and so I sold it to a friend and then recently I was on Sephora and I saw it at a discount and I was like, well, do I like those colors? I totally like those colors. And so I bought it again. But watching this video makes me wonder if I actually do like these colors. Okay, so that was all of my lipstick. <laughs> and ouchie, my lips hurt. But... I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. I hope you agree. Bye now. Don't forget to like, follow, or subscribe if you want to. Thanks. Bye. Blech. What's up? Big yawn. Jesse's not used to sitting up straight.